Now, traditionally, wizards do not do well in the party scene. They tend to spend all their time in their towers and in their creative endeavors and miss out on a lot of what's going on in the world. So in order to change this, we're going to have to take a look at how to hang out as a wizard. Now you see in the tower, they're always mixing concoctions in the movies and the stories. And that doesn't have to do necessarily with the concoctions or the spells. It's that wizards love creating empowering mixtures. So when you're going to have a party, you do this with food. A good example is soup. Soup is a lot of things mixed artfully together. And you have to use the right spices, cook it the right way to really create an artistic mix. And if you have something that can be dipped in that, that allows the wizards at the party to experiment even more. What would be good dipped in this artful mix? How much should I dip? How little should I dip? And they become more excited about the art of mixing which is really an emotional art how many emotions can you mix together and create a powerful concoction so it starts with the food and then you progress even further the connection for the wizard is crucial making connections feeling connections experiencing connections a good example is if you have games you want to pick games that promote connectivity a good example is Jenga so when you're touching the Jenga cube you can feel that little blocks connection with the hole if you move it you can feel the shift throughout the hole and if you reposition it you can feel the shift so it's all about feeling the connectivity and it allows wizards to hone that skill all the more so that as their heart creates emotions they can sense the impact and even anticipate the impact of creating a particular emotion and that empowers what the wizard is creating. But then we come to the last and the most important component of how to hang out as a wizard and that's creating empowering meaning and here is the obstruction. The reason wizards do not do well in the party setting is because they're driven to create meaning. So the wills have their glorious display of the throne room and the majesty of the party and the warriors and all their raucous behavior but in between those two is the wizards and they want to make something meaningful in the event they want to have a discussion they want to build something with everybody that's present but if you notice most party atmospheres don't really have a place for something meaningful to happen that doesn't mean the rowdy warriors and you know the elegant wills aren't meaningful but everybody has the potential to grow meaningful things and it's the wizard's responsibility to bring everybody together have a connection as one and then build something meaningful together something that wasn't there before it's not better or worse, it's not good or evil, this meaning that's being created. It's just you're in this together and the wizards want to bring people together and build something meaningful. And that's just difficult to do in most party settings. However, as a wizard, you don't want to wait for the party atmosphere to adapt to you and make a space for you to be able to do something meaningful. You want to be the one that goes into the party and deciding that you, as a wizard, will bring something meaningful to this evening. Therefore, as a wizard, hang out to empower.